We've been talking about technology all this week, and you had some research that you wanted yes. to share with us. So tell us, what do you have? Yes, well, um, recently, earlier this week, there was a publication um, that was released to the public um, on teaching um, individuals social skills, and these are more um, adolescents, teenagers, uh, with um, high-functioning autism or Asperger's um, in a group setting using uh, video models on iPads. Cool. So um, previous to this, uh, there's been um, inconsistent results as far as um, group types of instruction for teaching social skills, um, but this study had really positive results in which each, um, each individual had an iPad with videos of uh, different ways to engage with others, initiate conversations, and um, maintain conversations, and um, a, a bunch of different social skills like that. Um, and they each had their own iPad, watched these videos, and then had a chance to practice with each other, wow. which is, uh, you know, it makes sense that once you're learning the social skills, you have a group to actually practice these social skills with, but it was a more of a structured setting. And um, a lot of times the feedback they were given were, was um, not in the moment what they should do differently, but you didn't actually um, do exactly as the video showed you to do, so watch it again, and then we'll try it again. Okay. So they were really taking advantage of the videos themselves wow. instead of the person facilitating the group. And so um, there are a lot of um, implications for this for um, places that don't have a lot of resources. Yeah. You know, to have multiple people um, leading these groups, they could do it based on on these videos and then uh, facilitate a, a larger group interaction where social skills are being taught. And um, not only did the individuals learn these skills, but it maintained over like three months after the videos were faded. Wow. So a really cool, great study. Um, one thing uh, that the research, uh, another recent review in the last couple years has shown is that video modeling is the primary uh, method in which technology is used for teaching various social skills. And so there st is still a lot of work that needs to be done on other uh, means um, of using technology in these type of settings. But um, for video modeling, it does take a lot of time up front to actually um, tape people engaging in these social skills and, and everything like that. But, um, but it seems but like effective. a method that is effective and can work for groups. Um, and um, research has shown that um, individuals with autism tend to uh, attend more to <laughs> videos. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's why this, um, this means is being being implemented. Really, so really, really cool. remarkable. Mm -hmm. And if people want to know more about this study, uh, who is the study by, done by so that we can tell them where to yes. go to, to see it? Yes, this one um, is by Plavnik, Sam, Hume, and Odom. And it uh, is in the journal Exceptional Children. Um, in 2013, so it was just released, and we posted on our Autism Research Group Great. Facebook page a link to this article earlier this week. Okay, so Autism Research Group on Facebook, you can go there and get the link to that and other research, yes. quite honestly, mm -hmm. that will be meaningful to you. Really remarkable study. Thank you so much for sharing it, because as I said earlier, we, we get so many people who will write in and say, how can we work on social skills? Why isn't there stuff for teenagers? Mm -hmm. This is so desperate desperately needed and yes. now we know here's something that's effective. Mm -hmm. Really remarkable.